My name is Michael Dana. In 2008, I was diagnosed with a rare brain cancer, and after six years, I was cancer-free. But the ordeal left me changed, with a different outlook on life and a new sense of priorities. While still recovering, I earned a degree in economics from UNC Chapel Hill. My studies taught me to analyze data and open my mind to see things differently. I also started formal training in the martial arts to better defend myself and use it as a means of extreme physical therapy. Since then, I've obtained black belts in three martial arts. I own and run a martial arts school and have logged over 51 teaching hours. To my friends and family, I'm a simple business owner. But to the martial arts world, I'm something else. I am Sifu Mai, and this is Dragon Theory. How's it going guys? Hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about forms and katas and drills. Oh my. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's my best George C.K. impression, which is a whole lot better than my Spock impression because it's just this. Okay. And I got to go to Keelan, so I got to have to like evil Spock, you know. Whatever, man. Anyways, talking about forms, drills, katas, sets, sequences. These are all the same thing, okay? Um, basically, the human body can only move in so many different ways. You're going to have a lot of the same things just by different names. I've been, I feel like I've broken record, man. I've said that so many different times. So, the forms, the kind of, the sequences, okay, they're all set patterns that you do in order to either learn something or practice something or just learn it better, right? And so, the main difference really in my my view between these things other than the actual culture and just the name right because in japanese you got kata and right in chinese you got forms right all the same right in, in filipino stuff you have like drills and sets and sequences okay but the biggest difference and more most noticeable difference in my opinion is that the length and the complexity of these actual forms drills and sets and because they're all doing the same thing. They're all a set pattern that you do in order to better learn something or practice something. In fact, there's not just the one person. Okay, there's two people. It's multiple people. It all depends on what you're doing, the situation you're working in, and the techniques you're trying to learn, right? And so there's just a lot of different variations of it. Now, another thing I keep saying all the time is that some stuff, most stuff was made for a reason, right? And from a teaching perspective, okay, forms are a phenomenal way to have somebody practice something and learn something. Okay, so there's another aspect to this that is often overlooked, and that is the kind of the mental understanding of what it is you're actually doing. Because a lot of times these guys are doing things in the air, right? Because at that day and time when they first came up with it, that's all they had. Right? They didn't have modern technology and the equipment and stuff to utilize to help their learning. They just had you know, the different techniques that they do in the air. So they have a slightly different understanding. Right? So you have length, complexity, and your understanding of what you're actually doing. All right? That's going to be the difference. Now, a like set or sequence or drill, often that's going to be like one, maybe two things. Okay, it's very simple and it's very isolating that one specific thing. Now, when you have like a kata, it's going to be a whole lot longer and often it's the techniques that you learn within that specific rank in whatever martial art that is. When you have a form, it's, if it's a short form, it's the same thing, right? If it's a long form, it's pretty much the entirety of that particular martial art style. Right? I've seen some forms that are like 30 minutes long, and they're not like Tai Chi where they're going like this. Okay, they're going at a decent pace. It's just a very long form because there's a lot of techniques in there that they're trying to learn. Like I said, man, these things are done for a reason. That is why. It's like, hey, I'm not going to have to teach you 300 some odd techniques. I'm just going to teach you this form that has all of them in there and you're going to practice that and you're going to learn that and you're going to learn the body movements, right? And then we're going to apply that to the situation and put you in that situation that you're going to use the things that you learned in the form. Kind of makes sense, right? 
Um, but like I said, a lot of people don't understand what it is they're doing, and there's a lot of reasons for that, and I kind of go over that in some other videos. If you go to thedragonmethod.com, I talk about forms, and I go into like real big detail as far as the different forms and kinds. So like I said, your drills, your se sequences, your sets, they're all kind of simple, right? They're maybe 10 moves, 12 moves, whatever like that. Um, and people know what they're doing. You know, if they're doing in the air, they know what they're doing, and it's easily repeated. Often, though, you have these forms and katas, you have these long things, and the understanding of what they're actually doing in the air is lost over time, and so they have to interpret it. Or they have to change what they're doing to better fit the context of the situation that they're in. Often, though, that situation is a tournament, and so you have people who are doing stuff that look a little bit more flashier because it looks better, right? Because they're trying to impress the judges to get a better score. Okay, they do that enough, and then the people underneath them and underneath them keep doing it, and all of a sudden you end up with, like, people are just flailing their arms about, and they have no idea what they're supposed to do, what they're actually going to be doing in that form. And so, because of that, people don't understand that. It doesn't fit their context. It doesn't fit their little box. They get frustrated. They throw it out. They're like, this is useless, right? And I kind of teach something if I don't know what it is. Makes sense, but still doesn't necessarily mean you should, right? You should learn the form. You should learn the different techniques in there so that you can keep yourself from having to repeat it and be like, oh, we have a form, but we also have these other techniques that you also need to learn that teach the same stuff, right? You're doing unnecessary repetition, all right? Making things more complicated than it actually is. Okay, and like I said, from a teaching perspective, I freaking love these things, man, as far as creating certain types of drills and forms. And like I said, I go into greater detail at the dragonmethod.com as far as doing that. So if you're interested in learning the intricate details of teaching and, and making forms and stuff like that, go to the dragonmethod.com and check those videos out. Right. If you just want to learn martial arts, go to dragonmethod.com because I got a lot of different ways to teach you how to do martial arts. Man, I got like 24 hours or more of videos on that site, right? Um, and that's like separate from my YouTube channel, TKF MMA, right? Where you can go here. I've got like 200 some odd videos of all kinds of stuff, man. So definitely like, subscribe, and follow. I feel like I'm not quite at the beginning or at the end, right? But I'm still doing like my sales pitch, you know. So. Forms, drills, katas, right? They're all the same. You just have to better understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, where you're doing it, right? And you have the length, okay? Because some, like I said, might just be working on one or two or three movements, okay? Some might have like 15 or like 35 or some mess like that, okay? Like just a lot. Or they could go on for like a half an hour, okay? Um, it's just a different understanding of where they're at. Maybe it's just an entire martial art, or if it's just one rank in it. I know from my experience, gosh, I got like 40 some odd forms, not just the ones that I learned, but the ones that I came up with. Just, just a whole lot of forms and a whole lot of drills. If I do, say if I just pick one martial art, if I do all of the forms in that one martial art back to back without stopping, that then becomes a 20 minute, 30 minute form. Right? One big long thing. It makes sense, right? That's the entirety of the martial art all done in one thing and one way to practice, okay? So, you know, I, I try to do that as much as I can. Man, I try to do it as fast as I can to save time because that's a lot, man. I mean, get talking about 34s, man. It's a lot. Um, but I know what I'm doing. That's the thing. And so you have these great awesome ways to practice and to stay in shape, okay? Martial arts was to use as a form of fitness before there's ever a fitness industry, okay? That's one of the reasons why they created these forms, okay? They have dual purposes of not only teaching you how to fight, but teaching you how to stay in shape, okay? So, it's good stuff. Anyways, man, like I said, all the same, treat them as such, okay? And, like I said before, TKF MMA, Make sure to subscribe, like, share, all that great stuff, and go to thedragonmethod.com, 
to learn all kinds of more stuff, right? I got lots of stuff, man. I want you to be the best you possible. So go to thedragonmethod.com and check that out, okay? So, hope you learned something, guys, and I'll hopefully catch you next time. So, take it easy. See you.